Hi guys, I wanted to show you what was inside my fridge. I saw this challenge going around where people were doing like quarantine edition, what's in my fridge, and I wanted to do the challenge and then I'm gonna like assign it to other people to do the challenge. But this is what's in our fridge right now. I didn't clean, I didn't prep, I didn't shop for this. This is just like what's really in our fridge and freezer. And it's not that different than what we normally eat. But you know, I have a baby, I have a 10 year old son who's filming, and mm -hmm. um, you know, I have nutrition goals and fitness goals that I'm trying to stick with. So I do have a spaghetti squash up here, as well as a sweet potato that I need to cook because it has eyes on it. So those are really great things you can keep on hand. Any kind of squash, any kind of sweet potato, potatoes, filling, healthy carbs, healthy vegetables that are gonna keep well. We'll start with this. This is crazy. This is like condiments. I love condiments. I ended up having a retreat a couple of months ago. And so I have like an extra vegan aid. So I normally don't have two vegan aids. And then I had like regular mustard, but then I wanted to get, well, this is leftover from the uh, retreat as well, but I wanted like spicy mustard. I love Bragg's liquid aminos, hot sauce. I love this brand of um, Tessame's uh, dressing. I also have, let's see, jalapenos. I like to put pickled jalapenos on like everything. Uh, dates, coconut flour, uh, sauerkraut, healthy fermented food that you can throw on like bowls and salads. And we really like anything Primal Kitchen because no sugar added. Okay, that's enough of that. Oh, also I haven't opened this yet, but I just get some fresh ginger to add to stuff. And then we're gonna get over here. I'm just gonna get on the floor here. Baby, can I sit down like this? I'm gonna sit down too. All right, so down here is the vegetables. So um, I got some asparagus, we got some broccoli. I like to go to Safeway or Albertsons where they have like the three for 10. And then uh, celery, onion, carrots are in here. Coleslaw, so this, you don't have to make it into coleslaw. You don't have to add any kind of mayo or anything. I just like using this for salad bases. It's filling, it keeps very well in the fridge for a long time. Also cucumber, my son loves cucumbers. So usually my son, um, both the kids will have like carrots and cucumbers. And then also having onion and carrots and celery on hand is a really great base for like any kind of soup. So we've been doing a lot of soups lately. So that is that. And then down here we have fruit. So we've got like blueberries, lemons, grapefruit, apples, kiwi. I think that's all. Oops, we have lots of apples. Mm. You want an apple right now? I'm gonna hold that. Apple then, a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah, apple a day keeps the doctor away. Down here we have breaded items. So like, I've actually been really digging these uh, Mission Protein that have added protein in them. Um, hot dog buns, cause my kids, well, some, like, some will eat hot dogs. And we love sourdough. Normally I have like whole wheat. I actually have more Ezekiel bread in the freezer that I like to eat. And here we have cheddar cheese. I just repurposed a bag. We have um, jack cheese that's spicy. We have turkey dogs lunch meat for Fisher, and then I got I grabbed two of these soft tofus. Um, I will use it for my yum sauce, which I have on the top shelf, or um, lots of different recipes. I prefer firm, but they were out because of the lack of stuff in the grocery store. And then here we've got spinach. I put in my shakes like every single day. A bag of um, prepped kale that I could put in like, I don't really do a smoothies. I usually like put this in bowls. Um, almond milk. We don't drink milk in this house, even though we do have dairy. Uh, I just yeah. don't drink cow's milk. Yeah. yeah. So this, we have eggs here. Too. Um, this is the milk that Violet drinks. Um, now that she's over a year, we're not doing formula anymore and we just don't give her milk. We give her this. Um, the macros are good on this. The doctor said this was a great balance because it's high in fat and protein for growing child. Cold brew for me. Um, this is my favorite. Uh, multivitamin that's liquid um, you can save through me I can link it apple juice which was left here from her dad we don't really drink juice um, I did grab this which I want to make for the kids because um, just to add with soup to have on the side with soup or something so on the top shelf we have a lot of stuff as well so I went to a discount store the other day and got a ton of these bulletproof coffees because they were only 50 cents so I have a ton of those also some protein drinks by Rebel, 
Um, I love this Khalifa Farms um, non-dairy creamer, also nut pods. I have two things of cottage cheese right now because it was on clearance at that store. Normally I would just have one. Hummus. I usually do egg whites, but I accidentally grabbed liquid whole egg, but that works. And I have some, oops, some coconut yogurt that was on clearance. This is like high probiotics, which is cool. Salsa, Greek yogurt, and then this is the uh, yum sauce that lasts about a week, and I can link the recipe. Herdes, these two. Um, they're cheap, they're delicious, I love them. I masked in the fridge. We have some probiotics for Violet, um, some things that I wanna like use up, and some cashews and pine nuts. Okay, so over here we keep our frozen fruit. I took a bunch of bananas, peeled them, cut them in half, so that's what that is. Uh, mango, berries, so my son will eat these, I'll throw them in smoothies. Ezekiel bread, high in protein. Um, it's really good bread, uh, and I, I eat that for my toast. Cherries. And then over here, are, these are like treats that I made. I actually did an IGTV story about these. Edamame rice, frozen vegetables. This is like more like Fisher's food. So we've got like some taquitos in here, some chicken taquitos, bean and cheese burritos, pizza, pizza crust. Um, there's just some leftover soup back there. And then last but not least up here, I have some waffles right here, but this is like my fake meat section. So fake chicken. These are the Lighthouse brand, um, Boca, and then Gar Guardian. So whatever's on clearance, I'll grab multiple of. So that way I'm never out <laughs> of your basic. Oh, do you want some of those? Um, we're ne I'm never out of like basics. So that's basically how I keep my fridge stocked all the time. Quarantine or not, these are the things that I try to keep on hand for everybody. And I hope that you enjoyed looking inside my fridge and seeing how we keep it stocked and how much food I like to keep on hand all the time. Like this. Bye.